Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together and this time we'll be looking at 5.2 of course this is by demand from some of you uh, you know just wondering why I skipped that question all right so um, if you haven't subscribed please make sure just hit that subscribe button already okay and let's look at 5.2 so we're given uh, um, if cos of 42 is equal to p they say determine of course all of those expressions in terms of p right so what we're going to do here all right so they gave us uh, the cos of 42 being equal to p now remember when you're given an expression in terms of p in this case what we're supposed to do we're going to now um, express that in terms of trig ratios i'm going to express this as a fraction right so that's equal to p over one but what do we know well we know that cos is actually x over r so that means that our x value is p and our r value is one all right now, of course, 42 degrees is in the first quadrant, so there's no need for us to locate or, uh, you know, find out where the position of our angle is. So that's in the first quadrant for sure. Okay, uh, 42 degrees is an angle in the first quadrant. So there's our angle 42 there. So it means the X value is P and it's definitely positive and the R value is 1. So what we need to do is find the um, you know y value so we're going to say r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared okay so we want the value of y in this case so we know that y squared will be equal to uh, our r squared minus x squared so we know that our x squared uh, or rather our r squared value is one so that's one squared minus x squared that is p squared so we know that y squared is equal to 1 minus p squared okay and of course uh, y would be equal to the square root right this would be plus minus 1 minus p squared but in this case we're going to definitely take um, the positive value okay because that's in the first quadrant all right so no doubt that will be the positive square root so we know that y will be 1 minus p squared. All right. Now, they want us to express, um, you know, in terms of p. First of all, we're starting with sine of 48. So 5.2.1, uh, 5.2.1, they want us to express sine of 48. Now, remember... What we're going to do is to try and, uh, you know, represent this in terms of the reduction formula as well as, you know, double angles sometimes. Sometimes we even have to look at special angles, right? But think about it. What is sine 48 in terms of 42? So this would be exactly the same as saying this is actually the sine of 90 minus 42. So I'm using the reduction formula, right? Now, remember when we're using 90 and 270 right we always change to our co-ratios in this case so it means that a sine of 90 minus 42 is exactly equal to cos of 42 degrees right so sine 48 is equal to sine 48 is equal to cos 42 okay and we know in this case what is cos that's x over r so this would be equal to p over one remember that our, our, our p value or our x value is p and our r value is one so that's p over one which is equal to p okay right so i hope that makes sense all right now let's go on to 5.2.2 i am assuming that most of you were actually interested in this one so that's sine of minus 2202 okay so they gave us the sign of negative 2202 okay so first let's express this in terms of a sine of 42 now if we take a negative 2202 we have to try and reduce this as much as possible right um you know into an acute angle or an, any angle that is expressed in terms of 42 now what i'm going to do is let me take out my calculator right 
So remember, when you've got a negative angle, we always add 360, right? Uh, so I'm going to keep adding 360 uh, to 202. So I'm going to add 360, okay? So that's still a big angle. So I'm going to try and reduce it as much as possible. Plus 360, plus another 360, plus another 360, plus another 360, right now i've got minus 402 let's see plus another 360 that gives me minus 42 right okay so it means i'm going to say plus 360 multiplied by we added 360 i think six times that's one two three four five six yes that's six times and we ended up with minus 42 right so this would be the same as the sign remember why are we able to add 360 because the sign graph repeats at every 360 degree cycle so that means that it's exactly the same it changes absolutely nothing so this would be equal to the sign of negative 42 right now in this case negative sign okay of 42 that's uh, of course a sign of negative 42 that's in the fourth quadrant or if you want you can express this as sign of 360 minus 42 which is definitely in the fourth quadrant now if you use your cast diagram remember how is sign in the uh, fourth diagram sign is negative right only cos is positive there so this would be negative the sign of 42 degrees okay right but what do we know sign to be that's y over r right our y value is square root of one minus p squared you remember that from our triangle there is a y and our r value is one so it means that we're going to say divided by one which actually gives us exactly that value minus one minus p squared square root of one minus p squared all right so i hope that makes sense okay let's take the last one 5.2.3 right so in this case what do we have we've got cos of 84 right so the cosine of 84 now how do we express this in terms of our um you know in terms of 42 you would notice that for the 84 okay is exactly the same as two times 42 degrees right so what do you notice you've got a double angle what do we know about a uh, cos uh, of a double angle the cos of double any angle right we can say either this is cos squared of x minus sine squared of x right but because i already know cos in this case i'm going to just use this one two cos squared of x minus one right so this would be two cos squared of 42 minus one all right now in this case what does now what does this become it would be two now the cos of 42 we did say this is p over 1, which is equal to p. But remember, this is squared, so this is 2p squared minus 1. So our final answer there is going to be 2p squared minus 1. And essentially, this is how we express those in terms of p. Well, ladies and gents, I hope that made sense. I hope that you'll be, you've been able to follow it. Okay, so please look out for more. I'll be giving you more prelim preparation questions, right, as time goes during uh, the course of this week. I know most of you are writing on Friday, all right? So please do follow your favorite uncle, and I will give you definitely more and more of these as the week goes by. I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.